Man, oh man, we here again, and I took another L on Nike sneakers. But I was able to get them from one of my new friends, and I will talk about it in the video. So let's get straight to it. What is going on YouTube? This is your boy DIY Kari coming back to y'all with another video. Like I said in the beginning, I took another freaking L on sneakers app. As usual, I have not won a sneakers app in probably like five years. Damn! And y'all know, I do not pay resale at all. So I was happy when I had a new friend of mine reach out to me, asking me, do I want to do a review on their shoes, on their product? So I took that opportunity and I got the shoe that I missed on this past release. And I'm happy to get it. Without further ado, y'all know I be doing a rep ua reviews so everything i'm talking about is my opinion and i'm merely giving y'all information on how far these shoes have came i mean y'all can see it in every video y'all can see it for yourself they have came so far they're not like the shoes that when at least i know when i was in school where you can clearly tell that they are not real for instance who remembers the jordans that came out with spongebob on it and i'm gonna leave that there you have to talk about it in the comments and hit me up if y'all remember because that means y'all are around my age but without further ado let's get straight into the video like i said i had a new friend reach out to me asking me to do a review and that new friend is going to be winkick.ru so shout out to them for reaching out this is the shoe that they sent to me and i matched just so i can match i put on the shirt just so i can match <laughs> but again the nike sb futura i miss on sneakers as usual never win right off the bat you see the colorful colorful canvas that they came up with starting at the back you see that nike with the futura laboratories that is not for florida which it looks exactly like it but it's not and you see the center on that side. And since y'all can see it, y'all see that Nike product label under the bottom of the tongue. This does come with extra laces, which is gonna be a lavender type vibe. This is definitely a summer shoe for sure. Nike on both sides is going to be suede. If y'all look close up. And I thought, I assume, I'm not even going to say I thought, I assume that this was going to be a breathable mesh type nylon, but it is not. It is that hard nylon. So I tell you right now. If you buy these, definitely go up a half a size. I wish I would have knew that before I got them because I definitely would have went up to a 10 and a half. I am a true 10 in every single shoe, but this one, because of the materials, and that is gonna be on the original pair also, everyone has said they should have one up a half size because of the material. So I tell you no lie, if you get them, Definitely go up a half size. That way you fit the shoe comfortably. Because right now, 
only way I could fit, fit uncomfortable is if I wear not so thick socks. And all my socks are usually thick. I wear nothing but baked socks. So every single sock I have is thick. But that's my dilemma. I didn't know what I don't know. I didn't know. I just didn't know. <laughs> Back to the shoe. Again, this is a phenomenal shoe from Wind Kick. They were super on point. There's no stitching out of place. There's no glue lines. There was no smell to the shoe. And they got just everything is on point. Every single thing is on point. Show y'all the other one. That is a big thing that they, like I said, they got on point because this is one thing that can get messed up. This stitching is only on this shoe and it is on original just like that. And they got that right. This shoe looks totally different from the other one. Show both of them at the same time. Just so y'all can see that they are completely different. You got the two-tone laces straight to the tongue. You got the signature with the Nike sign and the Nike XD under it. And that is gonna be on both shoes. On the bottom, you got that signature in the middle. And my favorite, it's gonna be an insole. You got the signatures up and down in different fonts, different kind of color and everything with Nike XB and Futura Laboratories at the bottom. Back, you got extra padding with the air bubble unit at the heel. Phenomenal shoe. Again, this is not gonna be the only thing I wear with them, but because of the video, I knew it matched perfectly with the shoes. So I had to put on this shirt because this is a colorful shoe. So I want it to be colorful at the same time. Shout out to Wind Kick again for sending these out. They are super on point. Cannot complain about these at all. Y'all want them? Information will be in the description below. Show y'all box real quick. Like I said, this is a size 10, but I recommend that you go up a half size if you don't want them too snug, because I wish I would have did that. They do come with paper inserts. Only thing that came in the box is gonna be white paper. Then you got the anti-mold on this side, which is always opposite of the tag. And Nike SB branding on the bottom. That's it. Again, I'm so happy to have these in hand because like I said in the beginning, I missed on sneakers as always. So quick shout out to Wind Kick again for sending these out for me to review. Really appreciate it. If y'all want them, like I said, description below, check out their website, check out everything. But that is all I got for y'all today. This is your boy DIY Card signing out. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Help your boy keep growing. Keep reviewing these shoes. Peace.